The latest advertisement, pandemonium is about to break out. The message? Everything at Frosta is sustainable, right down to the last carrot. The marketing manager watches. The ad wants to show in time-lapse what his people conceived 10 years ago. Frosta had to reinvent itself because sales were slumping badly. Back then we used up to 200 additives in our brand, and we had the feeling that all of our products tasted alike. And so we wanted to go back to more authentic flavor, away from foodstuff technology and towards cooking. But how do you convince customers that you're doing more than whitewashing your image? First, real cooks were hired. Food chemists were no longer in demand in Frosta's test kitchens. It was time to rediscover food's natural flavor. We started to realize we were using a lot of additives that weren't necessary, especially sodium glutamate. Fifteen or twenty years ago it was still in every product we had. We'd grown accustomed to it, though we didn't really need it. Frosta had to invest, for one thing, in its machines. For example, this salt mill. It was needed because salt without additives clumps up. Cayenne pepper, fennel, fenugreek. Frosta also invested in people. They mixed the spices and herbs that the company used to buy pre-mixed. Of course, that means additional costs. The turnaround years were tough. Sales collapsed in 2003. When we noticed it wasn't functioning, the banks came and wanted sureties because our profits were falling. We had a phase in which we had to let some people go. The company was on the verge of bankruptcy. Would that be the price of good products? Frosta was now a pioneer, producing some of the most wholesome food in Germany. Real pecorino instead of ersatz cheese. We wondered whether we'd taken the right path and whether the consumer really wanted these pure foods. But looking back, we can say yes, they did. We just had to have endurance. It's a matter of wanting. What exactly do I want to do? And we said we have to make the technology fit the product, not the reverse. It had long been the product adapting to the technology. The semi-finished products had to be supplied to fit our production methods. We changed that. The company's whole approach had to change. Trade secrets were traded in for transparency. Frosta now wanted to know the precise origin of every fish and every vegetable. The company even switched to sustainable energy sources. And the endurance has paid off. Gradually, Frosta's sales have climbed again, steadily. Back on the film set. Frosta pays a lot for TV advertising, but it also posts the clips directly on the Internet. Ultimately, good products mean good profits. No bones about it. We've also saved a lot of energy. Sustainability also means lowering costs, and so it has an economic purpose, too. Frosta has had to raise its prices by 10 percent, but customers have accepted that. So the trademark message, sustainability, has paid off.